squeeze. Right. And you just give it a squeeze. All these little wrinkles, the little flaps, those are indicators that you know that your, your post is not too tight. Okay. If it's completely smooth and top looking, no. Sure. I would redo that. Sure. Just to be on the safe side. And since these guys have a lot of ear to work with, you can go pretty far down. And notice how I'm bringing that flap forward mm -hmm. to bring these edges together and not back like this. Right. right. Bringing it back will cause it to flip backwards. It the can. Tip. It can, but also it creates kind of a dermatitis problem right here. It gets crunchy. Okay. It gets a little moist in there from the humidity in the air, and then all of a sudden you've got crunchy, stinky pocket down Yeah, we there. don't want that. We don't want that. So obviously I've left the tip exposed just ever so slightly. Okay. That's more or less to give everybody some a comfort and kind of a heads up that I'm about to trim off the top. Okay. Of the post and that okay. ear. Right. I used to cover it all the way, but after people started gasping whenever I go to cut, even though I told them I was about to cut, um, I started leaving it <laughs> exposed so they can see that I'm sure. clearly not about to cut the ear. But I do make sure I cover it back up. So you can cover it up or not. That's up to you. I just do it these days because it's easier. <laughs> I think I'd rather cover it. And I used to. And it doesn't matter either way as long as you cover it up in the long run. Now at the bottom, we're going to use a nice long piece of the Zonus tape. See how I'm gonna have to lift and twist? Mm -hmm. Bring my thumb on this flap and index finger on the other side of the ear and I'm just kind of bringing my edges around again. Going just below the other pieces of tape. I ain't no play. He says, you're going too slow. And wrapping it around real loose like. So you are going on the skin with that one just a little just bit to hold it intact? Bit. Yes. Okay. Just because it's a little sturdier. And then we repeat. So that's one post. Okay, I'm gonna take it off a little bit. All right, so. I know, let's see. Let's get you better positions because your ears are sitting kind of funny. Here we go. That's a little bit better. So you want to make sure that he's kind of head on to you? Well, yeah, and then sometimes if you hold, have your holders holding too close back here, you see how it's kind of pushing the ears mm -hmm. together and forward? I want them to kind of sit naturally. Right. So don't push up on the bell so much. So just hold his muzzle. <clears throat> that way his ears are just kind of sitting there naturally versus... So if one hand was pushing the bell up and the other, not on the other side, it looks like this ear wants to lean in, but it's not. Mm -hmm. So... Nice, relaxed, normal ears. Nice, long piece of Zonus tape. And we're going to do a figure eight between the two posts. Sticky side towards the post. So sticky side goes here. And then we're just going to do our figure eight. Notice how I'm not going to bring the ears together and I'm leaving it pretty loose here in the middle. Oh, I know. Don't yawn right now. I'll fix it. And so every time you go around, sticky side's on the post? Every time, yes. And I'm trying to keep it loose. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Trying to keep it loose. You know, this is usually the hardest part because the puppy's like, I'm done, I don't want to do this anymore. And you got a long piece of tape. Nice and loose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of bring the ears up and squeeze them down at the base and consolidate this piece of tape into one little rope. The more twist you put in, the closer the posts go together. The more relaxed the twist, the further apart they go. This is how you control your positioning. Mm -hmm. So we want a goal post look right now. Obviously, if his ears were overcorrecting like they were sort of last time, we wouldn't add a twist and then mm -hmm. we would reinforce this middle part. But since he's got regular ears today, we're going to do a regular wrap, which means we want 